You're on. Hi. It's another nice morning here at Sipka, and this is Paul, our milk truck driver, and he's going to show you how the milk goes from the farm to the truck and then onto the plant. So he's going to show you the process, and I'll let him explain it. Okay. Well, first of all, uh, what I do is I, I'll shut the tank off, uh, make sure that it's, the milk is nice and level in there. And this one here has a few good bumps around too much, so uh, I'll uh, kind of lift the lid and I usually try to smell it, make sure it's good milk. And then um, this one here, like I say, is uh, usually settled down pretty well, but it usually gets a little foam, so I just like to kind of get the foam out of the way so I get a good, accurate uh, stick reading. And, uh, and then I uh, take the stick out, and then I wipe it off, and it, uh, this is how we measure what's in there for, for milk. And uh, make sure it's good and dry, and then I put that stick back in there, make sure we got a, no foam in the way, and I take it out, and I get a good reading here. Okay. Yeah, I get it in the light right there, and then I'll wipe it off, and I get, try to get a couple good, good readings here. I'll check it again. It looks like it's about three, four feet. I'll check it again. Okay, we're gonna go 2314. Okay, and then I'll start this agitator. Okay. I'll uh, record it here. Okay, 23-14. And then here's your calibration chart. And so we can figure out how many pounds by the stick reading. 23-14, looks like we got 49.97. Just short of 5,000 today. So 49.97. Like you're actually up a couple hundred pounds from last time, so I'll mark this down. And I have my things I have to write my BQ number and uh, my name, and then the uh, stick reading is 2314. Okay. Then, of course, we look at the temperature here, it looks like we're at 40 degrees, it's usually runs right about 40 at this one. Time and it looks like uh, about 8:20. So then I do that, and then we got stickers that we have to put on the uh, paperwork. We have two stickers, and one goes on the paper, and uh, um, we have 40 on that. The bone in the front, and uh, then one goes on the sample. So that when they uh, they check that sample for all the components, and then they just barcode this. They know how many pounds, and and um, and then I got a uh, quality card that I guess you can take that. Um, I think we hand out that has all your uh, components on it. And that uh, is checked for somatic cell protein and uh, what else do we have on there? The components are the level of protein in the milk and how much butter, fat, or cream the milk has. Now the reason we keep track of that is that's how we get paid. Because the higher the protein level, the better the quality of cheese they can make. And then the higher the fat level, the more butter and things they can get from the milk. So we get paid a premium for having high levels of protein and butter fat.
that will uh, we'll know how many pounds are right on this sample for the because each each day is a little different on the component uh, tests. And then uh, I have to put the date, the temperature, the date on the sample. And your number's on there too, so it's all on there. And it's been stirring up good. Was, this one's usually stirring when I get here, so I'll go ahead and get a sample. And get the pull them off, and then I usually dip this about two or three times to make sure that there's no uh, sanitizer or, or water on the to get a good accurate sample, and then I just take right, one good scoop there. There. And then I can go ahead and open up the valve. So we're pumping it on the drop. And then I gotta rinse my dipper. Sample in the cooler. Get it right on the ice. That's my next thing. Okay. Well, my truck here. Is, uh, I got a, a, a truck holds about uh, 7,500 gallons that I've got. Uh, two valves here. Uh, one is for the front. One's for the back, which we really like. We can load our front end up, like in the winter time, and get weight on that front end. Um, uh, it holds about uh, 7,500 gallons, so um, I picked up, um, you know, about uh, 5,000 pounds here. It would take about uh, about 13, 13 of the stops here to fill up my truck. And um, I guess I normally I, I take all my milk into Lake Norton. Uh, I start about uh, oh about 4:30 in the morning. And then I actually have a load on already, and I take it up to Lake Norton, and I unload and wash. And then I come out, and I pick up one more load, and I go back to Lake Norton, unload, and then I go get another load. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, the milk is picked up every day. The most uh, stops like this are a two-day pickup. And, um, uh, but... Uh, we work every day of the week. Sunday is just another day for us. Uh, the cows, they, they don't take a day off. So we, um, uh, I work on a five on five off schedule, which I really like. So I get quite a few days off, but they're long days that I work. And um, uh, yeah, it's a great job. I love it. it it's uh, um, winter time can be kind of uh, tough sometimes with getting in the yards and getting stuck. Uh, these trucks are, they're kind of, tricky to get get around the yards and stuff but uh, I've been doing it for 23 years now so I've been been you know uh, if I can get through the winters I, I feel great because now it's like smooth sailing through until, until we get until we get a, a tough winter I mean, we had a really good winter this last year so but uh, uh, other than that uh, that's about all I can tell you for now uh, anything else how many loads goes in, goes into oh, the yeah, cheese plant Lord, every day uh, Lake Norton cheese plant takes in about uh, uh, two and a half million a day, I believe. So that that's roughly uh, you know 50, 50, 60 loads a day through there. Um, uh, once in a while, for uh, we will haul into the Dean Foods in Sioux Falls, and that that's where it gets bottled. Uh, Lake Norton is all cheese, um, and you know there's another cheese plant up in Hall, Iowa that. Uh, some of the milk goes to. I've only been there a few times, but uh, uh, yeah, a uh, lot of lot of good things coming for the dairy industry. I think with this new plant coming into Brookings too. So, but uh, but yeah, uh, milk calling is a good job for you kids if you ever think about it. You'll like it. <laughs> well, thanks, Paul, and drive safely. Yeah, thank you.